Alright, so I got the uh, denitrator completed. And I'm just letting a few things dry right now. Um, one of them is the valve here, or the uh, union elbow uh, adapter there for the input. Uh, you can see real good there how I did this. Uh, it just goes up and in this groove. Uh, so that it's pretty um, stable. The groove will help stabilize it. And I've also got um, some two-part epoxy behind it. And I've got it strapped down with some zip ties, obviously. And uh, you can see here will be the input. And then this will be the output. Um, it's a pretty straight little deal here. It's pretty simple. You can get pretty creative with these things. Uh, and uh, I like this design. I think it's going to work real good. It's uh, it's real straight, straightforward. Um, I like the coil on the outside because you can see a little better about what's going on. You know, if you, you can see like when you're adjusting your um, uh, pump or whatever, in, initially you'll be able to see the coils actually fill up with water um, but once they're full you won't see much but uh, I don't know I just like the look of it the way it is right here looks like a freaking crazy piece of lab, lab equipment which it is uh, and uh, anyways yeah it, it only took probably two hours or so to do well no nah, maybe a little more than that gathering the parts and everything it's a really simple concept uh, it takes probably once I get the pump and the ball valve regulated it's probably gonna take about 15 minutes for the water to get from the first coil to the last coil it's really gonna be slow and all the media inside have got, um, let's see, 30, uh, 29, yeah, 29 uh, uh, pot scrubbies inside this thing, which will provide lots and lots of uh, surface area for the bacteria to grow on. Um, should be more than adequate for the reef tank over here. Uh, but, uh, anyways, yeah, um, I don't know if you want to follow this design. It, it's, I know it's going to be a pretty good one. Uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> going to be rock solid system here. And, uh, I'll show you once I, like I said, once I get it all up and running here, I'll show you, um, the install, the final install in the under the uh, in the actual stand. I'm gonna put it down under the tank next to my sump, and uh, you'll see where it's gonna go. It's, it'll it'll fit there just perfectly, and uh, it'll be a. Hopefully, this thing will work. So I'll, I'll be posting you guys um, updates here. Um, one more video to show you the, the final install and then I'll be making periodic videos throughout uh, the month the following month or so to show you guys how effective it actually is if it's working or not so anyways uh, thanks for watching